The machine learning space is a rapidly evolving area with new tools coming out all the time. Because of this, we now have a wide variety of options available to us for creating machine learning models like PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, or Scikit-Learn. And these models can also be productionized and deployed in a wide variety of environments, such as Amazon SageMaker, Kubernetes, or RESTful web services. It's common to see organizations stitch together models built with specific tools to specific deployment environments. For instance, PyTorch models might be tied to the Kubernetes deployment. Another team may also tie scikit-learn models to some Spark deployment. Essentially, we end up with something like this. We can see that each framework used for building models needs its own tailored solution for each downstream tool. This one-to-one -one mapping might be okay on a small scale, but as the organization grows and begins to adopt new tools for building models and starts productionizing these models in different ways, we end up with an N by M mess where N represents the number of machine learning frameworks available to us, and M represents the number of production environments available. This can be a real challenge to maintain over time. The solution to this N by M mapping problem is a unified model abstraction layer. This is what packaging gives us. It serves as an expected format for all of our models to be in. By serializing our models and packaging them in a consistent format, we're able to achieve reproducibility, manageable deployment strategies, and process standardization. Now, I understand that a lot of this may seem very abstract and high level right now, but we will get a better idea of what all of this looks like in a later video when we dive in with a hands-on approach. Essentially, all of these packaging tools serve as representations of a convention that provide robust portability and compatibility.